సో విల్ స్టార్ట్ ది సెషన్ అండి సో ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్ విల్ హ్యావ్ ఎ మాక్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ సెషన్ అండ్ ఏపీ మాడ్యూల్ ఓకే ఐ విల్ ఆస్క్ క్వశ్చన్ వన్ బై వన్ సో జస్ట్ మేక్ ఇట్ అన్మ్యూట్ ఫ్రమ్ యువర్ సైడ్ అండ్ కెన్ ఆన్సర్ ఇట్ ఓకే so <clears throat> first question i uh, will start from uh, okay rules and uh, data accesses for the uh, regarding the ap model okay the first question is what are the <clears throat> rules required for ap invoice creation and okay so what are the rules job rules required for ap invoice creation supplier buyer supplier buyer buyer okay Can any other this yeah yeah Uh, accounts payable supervisor accounts payable specialist accounts payable manager so basically to create a invoice for invoice supervisor yeah yeah continue account payable supervisor accounts payable supervisor accounts payable manager accounts payable specialist these are the roles we required to create an ap invoice creation correct so the correct answer is account payable specialist and uh, account payable invoice supervisor so i just asked the question regarding okay what are the role basic role manager role can be you can use the manager role to create invoice but the main purpose of the manager role is for other like uh, reporting purpose period closes and uh, approvals okay the basic uh, uh, what we needed to create invoice is account payable specialist and account payable invoice supervisor these are the major roles required for invoice creation at the same time what are the rules required for ap invoice payment creation payment create cheyadaniki what are the rules required anybody don't take much time we have very less time account payable manager okay so oh. accounts payable manager and accounts payable specialist same rules whatever we create i mean uh, invoice creation rules and the payable uh, payment rules are same as you are saying so yeah so for, for payment perspective so we needed account payable supervisor account payable uh payment supervisor okay these are the roles required for payment process and so the above roles are re- related to invoice creation the below roles are related to invoice payment creation this is invoice creation this is payment creation we have two work benches in jp invoice and payments okay now tell me what are the rules required for uh, supplier creation and update or uh, what are the rules and data access supplier manager and supplier administrator <laughs> so clearly uh, just uh, listen clearly 
rules and data access for supplier creation and update. So even you have the roles, you may not create or you may not update the supplier. Now tell me what are the roles and what are the data access or what are the privileges we need for supplier creation and supplier update? Supplier must be have a procurement agent okay. and buyer and supplier manager. Good. Yeah. So we should have the roles like supplier, uh, basic like administration also we have, but uh, basically we should have a buyer role and supplier, supplier manager role at a uh, uh, roles level and data access level also same, but uh, whereas like procurement manager, uh, procurement agent access should have our, uh, to our uh, user. Okay. Without uh, procurement agent access, you cannot create a, uh, you cannot update a site or, you know, site assignment for your uh, supplier, whatever you created. Okay. You should have buyer role. At the same time, you should have a procurement agent access for your user. Okay. And uh, uh, do you know uh, about AP calendar? And uh, can we create a separate calendar for AP? Can anybody answer? So do you know about AP calendar? And uh, how we can create a separate calendar in AP? And what is the purpose? I think calendars are creating uh, well, before one year, I think compared to cre uh, current year. So it is creating enterprise level. In account payable level also, we can create. No, uh, uh, that is accounting uh, calendar, accounting periods. But uh, I'm asking a specific uh, calendar <coughs> for AP. For AP specific calendar. No idea, sir. No, no sir. Specific AP calendar, no, we will not create AP. Okay. okay. Anybody? I think payable calendar, but it is used for the recurring invoices. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. So we have AP calendar, calendar for uh, AP model. Okay. So it is, it will use for, uh, you know, recurring invoice creation and uh, create multiple uh, periods and, uh, and open multiple periods for uh, future purpose. Like, uh, we can use for recurring invoices, automatic uh, to holding taxes purpose and uh, payment terms. Okay. So here is the answer. So we have AP calendar also like uh, this is a setup. We can, we can, where you can go manage payables calendar and you can create a, uh, using the payment term, you can create one payable calendar <clears throat> that will be used for recurring invoices. Okay. Now, tell me about uh, <clears throat> normal uh, period. Uh, how we can open the periods in AP model? AP model level, how we use I mean, open the <clears throat> period for AP model. Anybody? Procurement option. So what are the levels you can open the period? Where we can open the uh, period. 
So without open the period, you cannot create any invoices in AP, right? So where uh, you can open the period for AP module. Very Go to set up on maintenance. Okay. Go to general accounting and open the period close. And check the general ledger is open or not. So after that, go to open the payables. Okay. You tried, yeah. But um, there is no setup and maintenance. Yeah, but uh, yeah, general accounting level, you can go to GL uh, period uh, close. There you can open AP period. And uh, in G AP module level also, you can open accounting periods level. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Again, we can open through payable calendar also, payable and managing accounting periods. In this way also, we can open. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm telling. In the AP module level, uh, there you can open accounting periods. 